a very good morning on this here, the 5th of June. So did you know that five is the number of grace? Caleb Ministry, Sunday morning. 2 Chronicles 6 verse 41. Now here is like a watershed verse. And now arise, O Lord God, and enter your resting place along with the ark, the symbol of your power. The progression of God's dwelling place took a landmark step in this temple dedication. God had long before designated a tabernacle and a holy place within it where his presence would manifest. That presence was most focused over the ark and its mercy seat. The symbol of presence had long represented God's favor to Israel. When the ark went out with the army, God was there. When the ark was lost to the Philistines, the glory of Israel had departed. When the ark was recovered and then eventually brought to Jerusalem for David's tabernacle or the temple, the presence was celebrated. Now the ark was placed in a magnificent permanent structure. Surely God would inhabit this place. When Solomon finished praying, fire bolted from heaven and consumed Israel's offering and the glory of the Lord filled the temple even more intensely than before. Solomon's prayer was answered. The designated resting place of the Lord was honored by the Lord himself. He came. A lot of preparation went into the request. A history of desire. Israel's love for the ark and David's dream of a temple. A process of building it was a seven-year project, an assembly of the people, and an elaborate celebration. This was no casual request. It took effort and was filled with expectation. It required faith and confidence that God actually wanted to be with his people. And according to his response, he did. What kind of preparation and expectation goes into your request to encounter him? That is a question only you can answer. What step do you take to make your dwelling place ready? No amount of forethought, no level of preparation, no degree of hope is too much. He loves our readiness and he responds with glory prayer. Now, Lord, arise and center this resting place of yours. Enter it, O Lord. Enter me, which you have chosen to cleanse and set apart as holy. I welcome you not only to be here, but to have free reign and to make yourself completely at home. In Jesus' name, amen.